Hi there, after all the videos I made, there are some people out there that just don't get it and say it's the current that kills, not the voltage. To prove it to you once and for all, I'll be using my power supply here connected to these wires. This power supply can generate 20 volts, 150 <laughs> Yes, it generates 20 volts and 150 amps. Let's short it in a more controlled manner. Well, you see when I short it, the voltage goes almost to I was saying, when you short it together, the voltage you can see goes to zero and the current goes to 150 <laughs> It's hot! The power supply is set to 20 volts and I'm holding the wires with my fingers. I can't even weld with this power supply. Although this power supply can generate huge amounts of current, it can't send it through my body because it's only set to 20 volts. I can't even feel it on my fingers. I like to put it on my tongue, but before that, I have to reduce the voltage to something like 1 volt because, you know, the resistance of the tongue is much smaller than the skin. And still, if I short the power supply, I get the same 150 amps. Okay, you can see it still sparks. Let's try it out. What the f***? I thought I set it to 1 volt. Huge. Don't completely trust the gauges on your instruments and always double check them with a the meter. Now, if I short the wires, I still get the same 150 amps and it makes sparks, but the sparks are smaller because the voltage is smaller and therefore the total power is smaller. Let's put it on my tongue. See? Nothing. Let me explain. The simplest electrical formula is that voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if the voltage is 1 volt and if the resistance of my tongue is 10,000 ohms, then the current through my tongue will be only 0.1 milliamps. In order to create 1 amps through my tongue, I'll need 1 times 10,000 ohms or 10,000 volts across my tongue. See, the voltage is the energy required to create current. In order to get hurt, you need enough current. And to have enough current, you need high enough voltage. Anything that moves, including the electrons, started moving because some sort of energy has made it move. You will not have current without the voltage, at least in room temperatures. I don't know what kind of diabolical mumbo jumbo will happen at absolute zero. Saying that the voltage doesn't kill is like saying that the earthquake in the middle of the the ocean doesn't kill, it's the tsunami afterwards that kills. With that analogy, if I shoot you, it's not my fault, it's the bullet's fault. This just in, bullets are taking lives of our citizens while sending our innocent people to jail, whose only crime is to hold the gun and pull the trigger. Swear to God, I just wanted to scratch his forehead. I didn't know a bullet is capable of such animosity. In other news, our scientists confirmed that the sole reason for the global warming is the melting polar ice caps. There is just not enough ice to cool the planet anymore. Also, they discovered that the main reason for divorce is marriage. So it's not just the current that kills, it's the current and voltage hand in hand. Here's the power supply at 4 volts and I'm going to connect this thin wire to it. And you can see how the wire melts and burns under So the power supply can generate enough current to melt the wire. Still nothing. So I hope I'm clear. Please don't repeat that the current kills, not the voltage. There's a famous saying that goes like this. Like, share and subscribe to my channel.